Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. I've got some incredible information for you. And I think it's because, I think it's incredible because we are literally at the precipice of an unbelievable uh, time point in our country's economy. We have never seen anything like even, even since the Spanish flu, what we're experiencing right now in the economy. And this story that I'm gonna link below, it's entitled, A Record Number of Americans Just Quit Their Job As Job Openings Now Surpass Unemployed Workers by a Record 5.6 Million. This is absolutely astonishing. And I'm gonna be honest with you, at first glance, I don't know what to make of this. It is absolutely blowing my mind how many people, you know, now they dub it the great resignation. How many people have left their jobs? And you have to ask yourself, for what? Where are they right now? We know that a lot of people left, uh, you know, their, their place of work and, and went to remote working, but these are people that actually left their jobs. Now, a lot of them, I remember uh, when this started, talking to a lot of people that said, look, I was within a year or two of retiring anyway. I was trying to max out the heck with it. The world's gone nutty and I'm out. And so they leave, right? But this is just mind blowing. And hopefully what I really wanna see is people starting their own business. Uh, there is nothing better. There's so much freedom with starting your own business, but it isn't for everyone. I will say that for sure. But a lot of people don't really realize um, until hard times come that they could actually make their dreams a reality. Now I'm gonna preface that. We're gonna talk about the story and then I'm gonna go into the starting a business because there are some very imp important parts. And I do own a handful of businesses myself. I've always been an entrepreneur. So I do have a lot of experience in this. So I'll talk about at the end, okay? We're gonna go into this. It says, another month, another blockbuster, Jolt's report confirming just how terribly broken the US labor market is. Last month, the BLS reported that US job market was plagued by a near record 11.27 million job openings. Then moments ago, the BLS published its latest March Jolt's report, according to which job openings just hit a new time high of 11.27 549 million, blowing away expectations of 11.2 million, up 250,000 from February and up 100,000 from the previous record high of 11.448 million. All right, and that was in December of 2021. So this is accelerating. It absolutely blows my mind. It says, in other words, of this moment, when U.S. GDP is already negative, remember we've already had um, a bad uh, GDP print uh, this last quarter, we're just waiting for economists to finally tell us, you know, we're in recession uh, because they look back in history. They're not even as good as a weatherman at this point. That blows me away. Sorry, I digress. There is still a record number of job openings in the U.S. job mo market, a phenomenon which Jeff Grunlock recently attributed to the surging crime force participation rate. Ah, oh, that sucks. Claiming the lack of prosecution has made millions of potential workers into hardened shoplifting criminals. And absolutely, you, got, you know what guys, you know that I live in California, you know that California is coming out with some just crazy laws or rules where um, most cities, they're not even prosecuting criminals if they, uh, as long as they only steal $900 worth of goods or less. That is absolutely blowing my mind. But I'm gonna look at the positive side, okay? So give me a second. We're gonna take the positive spin about all this, all right? So this is what Jeff uh, Grunlock, you know, thinks, that everyone's just becoming a criminal. But I don't believe that. I don't believe that over uh, this, uh, this channel, the YouTube channel, The Economic Ninja. I do not believe that over Ninja Nation. The people that subscribe to a channel like this, uh, they're not looking for glitz and glamour. Let's put it that way. I mean, come on. You get what you see, right? There's not much here. But my point being is this, I'm not bagging on myself. My point is this, is that you come here to, for knowledge and you wanna go out and crush it. So we're gonna flip this on Jeff, okay? Before you just go out and start saying, oh, everyone's quitting their job and they're just becoming criminals. Jeff, you're wrong. I don't believe that at all. As a matter of fact, I believe that right now, the true American entrepreneurial spirit is waking up in people. And I'm actually gonna speak that over you guys right now. Where people had a dream and they may have went sideways or lost that dream when they went to college to try and get that job, to go crush it in life. And they found themselves stuck in a nine to five job that didn't even like their supervisors or the people they work with. Um, they, they lost their dreams of going out on their own and just going out and crushing it. It's hard work, don't get me wrong, it's hard work, but boy, Boy, is it fulfilling, right? I believe that that is what is happening right now in America. Americans are waking up and going, no, you know what? I'm going to go and forge my own path. I am going to go out and crush it. I'm going to change my financial future forever. And it's scary because we are coming into an epic collapse in the markets. 
So right here, just a couple details before I, I give my last little bit. Looking at the details, job openings increased in retail trade, up 155,000, and in durable goods manufacturing, up 50,000. Job openings decreased in transportation, warehousing, and utilities, that's down 69,000. State and local government education, down 43,000. That's a very interesting one right there because you think that's low hanging fruit for a lot of uh, people that, that um, they'd want those jobs, but those, those are down. And then federal government down negative 20%. It says, what we found or what we find far more remarkable, however, is that amid the continued tightening in the labor market, there is a new record of 5.6 million more vacant jobs than unemployed workers in March, confirming that the U.S. labor market remains woefully, perhaps irreparably cracked, and the wage price spiral is all too reek. Man. This is absolutely unbelievable. You know, to sit there and say, you know, during the Great Depression, the problem was so many people lost their jobs. During the Great Recession, so many people lost their jobs. Now you have a collapse, I believe, akin to the Great Depression on, on its way right now. It definitely will be worse than the Great Recession, just based primarily, solely, actually, solely off the amount of money that has been created uh, since the Great Recession, okay? So that means that that, that boom's gonna be big, the crash is gonna be big. But you think about it, right now, I've talked about this before, is the greatest time for you to level up, to move up in, in your job, right? To go, there's so many openings, so many opportunities for good, hardworking people that use their mind rather than their back. And not saying that labor, you know, manual labor is where it's at, but using your mind even in a manual labor job. There's so many opportunity right now to go and make something happen. Uh, but yet this is the, the last little stand. We have literally more job openings than unemployed people right now. It, it just blows my mind. Uh, and pretty soon everyone's about to rush to those jobs as the economy collapses. Now let's talk about starting a business. I believe it is imperative to start businesses. I believe it's time to take back the manufacturing base that we gave to China and other countries. Indonesia and all kinds of countries that have been building our stuff, it is time to take it back. Why? I think it is a great time during a collapse to start a business because if you can make a, a business work during a crash, you will thrive and explode during an upcycle, right? And right now to say that it's hard to start a business with supply chain issues and things like that is an understatement, but I will give you this one little tip. If you're thinking about starting a business, this is what I would challenge you to do. Get out a pad of paper and a pen and start to write down everything you can't live without things that you need. And then hearken your, think back to the Great Recession and think about people that lost their jobs. Construction workers lost their jobs. However, handymen did not. Um, uh, you know, nice car dealers, uh, places, cars, you know, uh, that sold expensive cars that no one could afford. They were hurting, but yet discount uh, auto dealers were not hurting, right? Because people still need cars. Auto mechanic shops, they were still in need because people still broke down. Plumbers were in need, tradesmen were in need, right? And my point being is start to write down those things. And it sounds funny, but even the economic ninja made a killing selling palm trees during the Great Recession, where you'd think, what well, people don't need palm trees, but you know, it was a cash business and it wasn't, you know, my livelihood, that was my side gig. But back then I was making $50,000 a year selling palm trees. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, come on, that's pretty darn good money when you're thinking about, you know, a side hustle. So my point to me is write down all those things that people can't live without and then start to think, well, can I fill one of those gaps? Can I give great service, great prices, do work hard and absolutely crush it and then slowly build my business. Don't jump in and, and borrow money and do that kind of stuff, you know, get into debt for your business. But think about it, start small and then get ready to expand. Learn how to scale and prepare to scale. Have a plan for scaling because what you'll find is if you go and you do something well, you're going to be in demand. And that is just quite frankly. Even if your services aren't the biggest in demand, if you do it better than the guy down the street, you're gonna get the business. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much for watching. Put down in the comment section, if you're one of the people that left a job and you said the heck with it, well, I wanna know the reasons. I wanna know why you quit because I, I think that's important for me to be able to tailor videos to the, the needs of you guys and to be able to show other people what other people are going through so they don't feel like they're crazy. Because hey, we're an engine nation. We're prepared and not scared. All right, guys, that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'm out.